Save the Last Dance for Me is the 20th episode of the fourth season of Cheers. This is, of course, directed by the wonderful James Burrows. And there will be spoilers from now as I discuss things that happen in this episode and mention things that I particularly like. This might actually be shorter than my average Cheers discussion, not because I didn't like it, but because I don't have that many thoughts. There's not a lot of variety in this episode, so there's not a lot for me to pull on. And we also don't get that many characters from the second half of the episode. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but obviously there are not as many quotes and funny things that I want to share, but it by no means reflects the quality of the episode. So it starts off uh, completely unconnected to the main narrative, but very entertainingly with Woody asking Diane for some dating advice. And Diane, while she's behind the bar, she starts to ramble on about goodness knows what and what's quite interesting about this is that it's very easy to not actually hear what Diane is saying which is kind of the point because we're more focused on Woody, his facial expressions, how he is reacting to the situation and how he reacts is to get up and leave while Diane's back is turned. She's still talking. Cliff walks in, sits in Woody's seat. Diane talks to Cliff having not actually realised it's not the person who was there before because Diane is so wrapped up in her own little bubble and I just thought it was really entertaining and a really fun way to start things off. The rest of the episode focuses on the one main narrative and it starts off with Carla coming in with a newspaper. There's going to be a reunion of the Boston Boppers, which is a local TV show that Carla used to dance on when she was a teenager and even though there's going to be a cash prize and a vacation trip, she refuses to get in touch with Nick to go back on the show and, and dance the competition. But she kind of drops hints that the others should contact him. And when she's out of the frame, we see the others uh, starting to think about that and getting in touch with Nick. Very briefly, we have uh, Norm coming into Cheers and... He talks about how Vera got a job and that's literally the only subplot that we have. That's all we get. It's fine. It's not too bad. It gives us a little bit of time until Nick and Loretta come to cheers. And Nick and Loretta are going to go and dance on the competition. Initially, it's going to be Nick and Carla, but they get into a bit of an argument and Nick says, fine, I'll dance with Loretta. And Carla says, fine, I'll dance with Eddie Sisnick who we are to learn is a talented dancer and she she manages to get hold of Eddie Sisnick and we don't actually get to see much of him. He is played by Nick Dimitri but basically all we see is him coming down the steps of Cheers and falling down the steps of Cheers and Carla's dance partner is no longer able to dance. Everything is very much up in the air at this point but I think it becomes pretty clear what's going to happen pretty quickly and ultimately Sam ends up somewhat reluctantly agreeing to dance with Carla and the rest of the episode pretty much apart from the ending plays out in the TV studio when they're dancing for Boston Boppers and we have some brilliant energetic lively performances and obviously because we have a lot of dancing and a lot of music we don't get that much dialogue in those scenes and the dialogue is what makes Cheers so ridiculously funny. And I think that's just one of the reasons why I don't have that many things to say compared to the average Cheers discussion. Again, it's not a problem with the episode, but it's maybe not as funny as some of the others. But the performances are brilliant, particularly Rhea Perlman and Ted Danson. Their dancing was just beautiful. So, so fun and energetic. I loved the costumes. I thought Carla's dress was gorgeous. It looked brilliant on her. And we get a really great performance. And I think it's also very unpredictable, which I like, because I feel like either Nick and Loretta or Carla and Sam would have won. That's the obvious guess for what would happen. But both of them were tapped out and they didn't win. And then Nick takes the microphone and asks them to play Unchained Melody. And then we get the performance with Nick and Carla, which was very well done. A little bit funny, but also very entertaining in in other ways and kind of moving as well and beautiful music of course and then Carla comes into cheers with the trophy I'm not entirely sure how the genuine winners of the contest would have felt about that because they'd already decided who was the winner at that point and then Nick came along and took over things so that's a little bit awkward but nevertheless Carla comes into cheers holding the trophy high above her head 
it's really lovely to see Carla being this happy and this excited. And we have this great moment where Diane's cheering for her and Carla's just ab absorbing it rather than pushing Diane away. And it doesn't happen that often, but it was really beautiful and really well done. And then we have the great scene at the end, a, a rare scene at this point where Carla is alone in cheers and she's making a drink. And then Nick comes in and tries to get her to go on the vacation with him and well, Carla gives as good as she gets and makes sure that he's not getting the wrong message. So it's a really fun Carla episode. The performances are really brilliant. And there is some comedy in this. Of course there is. It's cheers. But for me, it's not as funny as most other episodes. But it's enjoyable in a different way. And as I said, the dancing with Sam and Carla was just an absolute delight. So it may not be a personal favourite. It may not be as laugh-out-loud funny as some of the other episodes, but I still thought Save the Last Dance for me was a pretty brilliant episode.